In this video, we are going to discuss the 11 best South Korean romance movies of the 2020s so far. A romantic film consistently proves to be an excellent choice for entertainment, whether selected for a social gathering, a romantic evening, or simply a spontaneous pick during a tiring weekday. South Korea has been a leading force in crafting high-quality romance movies for several decades, maintaining its dominance since the inception of its film industry. Number 11. Serve the People 2022, directed by Cheol Su Jang, unfolds in a fictional socialist nation during the 1970s. The protagonist, Mu Kwine, played by Yeom Woo Jin, an exemplary soldier, becomes the division commander's private chef with a singular life goal, supporting his wife and child. However, a perilous temptation arises when the division commander goes on a business trip. Su Ryan, portrayed by Ji An, the commander's young wife, initiates advances toward Mu Kwang, creating a conflict between his personal goals and principles. Number 10 on the list is Wish You, 2021, directed by Di Jun Sung. The film narrates the story of a reserved keyboardist, Sang Lee, employed by a South Korean record company. His life takes a turn when he encounters a charming male street performer, Kang In Su, and instantly falls in love. Sharing the tape with his manager, the keyboardist not only offers the singer a chance in the industry but also a place in his heart. While Wish You falls short in plot development, its remarkable visuals, engaging soundtrack, and the undeniable chemistry between the leads make it a standout in South Korean LGBTQ plus cinema. Despite its imperfections, fans of romantic movies will find this one enjoyable, a heartwarming romance without cringe-worthy moments. The actors deliver commendable performances, elevating the overall viewing experience with their palpable on-screen chemistry. Number 9. Love Unleashes, 2022. Helmed by director Hyun Jin Park, this Korean romance film, available on Netflix, distinguishes itself from its predecessors by offering a refreshing and sincere portrayal of BDSM. Straying from sensationalism, the movie highlights the essence of consent and mutual respect within the BDSM dynamic. Love Unleashes breaks new ground in Korea, presenting a narrative where a submissive man seeks a dominant woman as his master. While it may not boast explicit content like Fifty Shades of Grey, Han Jin Park's film stands out as a robust Korean romantic comedy, featuring a delightful lead pair. Film number 8 is Sweet and Sore, 2021, directed by Kai Byok Lee and Kate Jobson. Adapted from Karumi Inui's novel Initiation Love, the movie navigates the struggles of a couple trying to sustain their long-distance relationship amidst challenges stemming from career ambitions, personal goals, and the inevitable evolution of romance. Although the plot may not be groundbreaking, the film offers a fresh experience with its rich narrative. Sweet and Soul authentically explores the dynamics of modern relationships, showcasing the balancing act between personal and professional lives. The movie maintains a steady rhythm, presenting realistic challenges and joys without relying heavily on climactic moments. The talented young lead actors skillfully convey a spectrum of emotions from intense elation to profound anguish, adding depth to the storytelling. Number 7, Ditto, 2022, directed by Yoon Young Seo, is a remake of the 2000 film with the same title. The story revolves around Kim Young, Yeo Jin Gu, a college junior in 1999, and Moon Yi Yi Han Cho, a sophomore in 2022 at the same institution. During a total moon eclipse in 1999 and 2022, they mysteriously connect over the radio and engage in conversations about love and friendship. The film successfully recreates a nostalgic 90s setting for the audience, while also skillfully depicting a vibrant South Korea in 2022. The nuanced storytelling ensures that the time travel element remains fresh and integral to the plot, avoiding any sense of datedness or repetition. The young actors deliver compelling performances, providing the audience with a truly romantic experience. Number 6, titled 20th Century Girl, 2022, and directed by Wuri Bang, unfolds in 1999 and centers around Bora, Kim Yu Jeong, a 17-year-old high school student proficient in Taekwondo, and exuding a cheerful demeanor. The narrative unfolds as Bora begins closely observing a popular student on behalf of her smitten best friend, only to find herself unexpectedly falling in love with him. The film adeptly captures the vibrancy and yearning of youth, exploring the profound emotions tied to friendships and first loves. Against the scenic backdrop of South Korea, 
20th century girl employs a calming color palette of greens and yellows, creating a tranquil setting that allows the characters to delve into matters of the heart undisturbed. Despite a shift towards angst in the latter part of the film, it remains a captivating watch, especially for its enchanting first half and compelling soundtracks. Number 5. Double Patty 2021 Directed by Sun Juan Park, Double Patty presents a captivating romance depicting the journeys of two individuals, Han Ji Irene, an aspiring broadcaster working part-time at a handmade burger shop, and Wu Ram Shin Sing Ho a young man forced to abandon his dream of becoming a professional athlete due to an injury. Their paths cross when Wu Ram orders a double patty at the burger restaurant. Irene, a member of the South Korean all-girl pop band Red Velvet, delivers a compelling performance in her inaugural feature film role, displaying remarkable chemistry with her co-star. The film's stellar soundtrack and delectable food scenes enhance its elegant portrayal of young individuals unraveling their aspirations and life trajectories. Furthermore, Double Patty introduces a fresh and distinctive storyline that diverges from typical romantic dramas thanks to the compelling dynamic between the lead characters, contributing to the story's overall charm. Film number 4, titled New Year Blues, 2021, and directed by Hong Jiyang, depicts the lives of four couples facing significant changes a week before the new year. The narrative unfolds as they grapple with international marriages, pursue successful careers, propose to their partners, endure challenging breakups, and confront threats from ex-husbands. Amidst these trials, the film portrays their courageous journey in overcoming fears about the future. New Year Blues is a heartwarming and uplifting movie that resonates with genuine emotions and memorable scenes. The talented cast brings remarkable chemistry to each couple, contributing to the overall appeal of the film. Additionally, the movie features picturesque settings in locations like Buenos Aires and a Korean beach, potentially sparking wanderlust among viewers. Number 3. The 2020 film Jose, directed by John Kwan Kim, revolves around the protagonist Jose Han Ji Min, an avid reader and whiskey enthusiast, living with her grandmother. Her life takes a transformative turn when young Silk, Nam Juk Hyuk, enters the scene. A remake of the Japanese film Jose, The Tiger and the Fish, this movie resonates with the original's essence and plot. Unlike traditional films, Jose unfolds without dramatic climaxes or twists, allowing for a gradual development of the relationship between Jose and Young Seok, providing viewers ample time to connect with the characters. The film shines in capturing the early stages of romantic attraction, skillfully portrayed through the chemistry and on-screen presence of the lead actors. Furthermore, Jose boasts stunning visuals, moving music, and outstanding performances, contributing to a captivating cinematic experience. Number 2. Waiting for Rain Slash Endless Rain, 2021, directed by Jin Mo Cho, revolves around the correspondence between Yun Ho, Kang Han Yul, and So Hee, Chan Wu Hee. Yun Ho, a purposeless young man preparing for college, exchanges letters with So Hee, the ailing younger sister of his childhood best friend. The film delicately explores their growing affection, emphasizing tender moments, heartwarming music, and stellar performances that contribute to its theme of the profound impact of words in uniting hearts. Despite its intricate narrative structure, the movie adeptly handles temporal shifts, ensuring a smooth and captivating viewing experience. As the plot unfolds, the film gradually reveals the significance of its title, leading to a satisfying conclusion that resonates with the audience. Number 1 film, Decision to Leave, 2022. Directed by Park Chan-wook, Decision to Leave, a highly praised thriller and romantic film, revolves around a detective, Park Ha-il, who finds himself drawn to a mysterious widow, Tang Wei, the prime suspect in his latest murder investigation. Helmed by Park Chan-wook, the acclaimed director of All Boy and Stoker, the movie skillfully combines elements of tense intrigue, emotional confrontations, clever mobile technology use, stylish set pieces, and manipulative story twists. In essence, Decision to Leave is a captivating love story, rich in sensuality yet devoid of explicit intimate scenes. Park Chan-wook expertly balances his signature thriller style with the creation of a beautiful love narrative, leaving viewers engrossed and sparking discussions long after the credits roll. Tang Wei and Park Ha-il deliver outstanding performances, elevating the art of seduction to a new level. So which of these movies are you most excited for? 
Let us know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe, like and share with your friends.